We have an update now to a story we saw first here last night at 11 o'clock. The former Holly police chief accusing village leaders of sexual harassment and discrimination. Now, one of the men she's taking aim at is telling his side of the story. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich has more for us. Holly's former police chief, Elena Denezhevskaya, told 7 Action News she was forced from her job and resigned after being discriminated against by village manager Jerry Walker and sexually harassed by Councilman Thomas Clark when he sent her inappropriate emails and touched her inappropriately. Email of uh, two strippers on a strip pole, um, the inappropriate hug, where, you know, I was hugged, I, I felt like I was molested. But the village attorney dismissed the complaint after coming to his own conclusions from a third-party fact-finding report, stating the emails were an accident. And he said he saw people hugging at the Olympics all the time. The decision to leave was, was purely on her own. She was not expected or requested to resign, but she decided to do that. Village manager Jerry Walker calls the timing of the former chief's sexual harassment complaint suspicious because he says she was about to get a bad job review. All of the complaints that uh, Chief Danish Sky outlined in her original sex harassment complaint, they all occurred more than six months prior to the time of her filing uh, her sexual harassment complaint, and they were filed at the time when she knew that her uh, probationary, probationary period was going to end. Around the same time the sexual harassment complaint was dismissed, a vote of no confidence came out from 12 of her 13 police officers signed against the former chief for 19 different actions or inactions. Well, I think there was a definite lack of leadership in the department. The, the department seemed to be floundering. The former chief had been on paid administrative leave at the time she resigned, and she left before the Oakland County Sheriff's Department completed their investigation into the vote of no confidence. The village manager also says that the former chief had a chance to appeal the sexual harassment complaint, but she chose not to. Reporting live, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot.